Hi, Danielle. I'm Amelia Sanderson. I'm a third year law student at Keaton. Hi. I'm here with the legal clinic assisting Professor Mills with your defense. That's a big responsibility. Thank you for taking my case. My job is to prep you for the trial. Anything you say is, of you course, familiar. We met before? No. Maybe you just remind me of someone. I'm going to ask you a series of questions about your history with the victim. We don't want you caught off guard when you're on the stand. Okay. The more honest you are with me, the quicker we can build your defense. There's nothing worse than looking guilty when you're innocent. I understand. All right. Did you know Jesse Spencer personally? Yes, we were friends. And how long did you know her for? Only about six months or so, but we became really close. How did you two meet? We both volunteered at the shelter. During the past few months, Jessie's family said she began exhibiting uncharacteristic behavior. Recreational drug use, petty crimes. Why do you think she started acting this way? Jessie had a bit of a wild side that not many people knew about. Some might find it odd that her behavior changed around the time you two became friends. Perhaps you're a bad influence on her? Bad influence? No, Jessie was very headstrong. I never made her do anything she didn't want to. Were you there the night she killed herself? No. I was supposed to meet her, but I was running late. I walked in and I was too late. How did she die? She hung herself. The coroner's report states that they found Xanax in her system. She was really stressed about college. You said she hung herself, but they determined the cause of her death was a drug overdose. I find that suspicious, don't you? You said you were the first one there that night? Yes, but I called the cops as soon as I found her. There was no pill bottle found at the crime scene. No evidence that she had taken drugs. Almost like someone hid the evidence before the cops arrived. I didn't kill her. Why should I believe you? Jessie was my best friend. I was heartbroken. Then explain why your prints were all over her body. I tried to resuscitate her. But what about her family's cabin where she was found? Why were her prints all over the cabin if you had just got there? That's where I know you from. Excuse me? The family cabin? There's pictures of you everywhere. You're the sister from New York. Yeah. And you're the evil bitch who killed Jesse. Have you ever been inside someone's head before? Where your voice replaces theirs and you can convince them to do anything you say? Knowing you own someone. There's no feeling like that power. My sister would never hurt herself. She loved her life. Until she realized she could never live up to you, their perfect daughter. You're not gonna get away with this. I will, because I don't care. Caring about someone is a weakness. I don't care about you or your family, and I sure as hell didn't care about your sister. She was just another experiment for me. The object of my curiosity. I killed her for fun. But the jury will never know that. I just lost my best friend. I just wish I could have gotten there a few minutes earlier to save her. You know what else is a weakness? Pride. You still think you have the upper hand? I've recorded your entire confession. Every word you just said is right here. That's your big plan? That was obtained illegally by someone impersonating my legal counsel. It's not admissible in court. <laughs> Who said anything about court? The second I leave this room, it's going online. Good luck getting an impartial jury when your confession goes viral. You can't do that. Oh, I can and I will. So. How does it feel? 
How does what feel? Being powerless. 